Tomorrow marks three weeks since the Supreme Court overturned Roe v. Wade. We're learning more about how demand for abortion services have surged in Illinois already as neighboring states ban the procedure. CBS 2's Chris Ty live for us outside the Thompson Center with a new partnership aimed at helping women in the Midwest access abortion services here in Illinois. Chris. Joe, in Wisconsin, with Roe overturned, a law that goes back 150 years ago kicks in, which makes abortion a felony. Planned Parenthood of Wisconsin has been planning for this day, and now almost every day, huge numbers of their medical team are heading into Illinois to help with our surge here. I am one of the many of providers who have decided to commute to Illinois to provide abortion care. The highways into Illinois have gotten busier since the Supreme Court overturned Roe. Busier with patients coming here needing care, and now busier with physicians driving in to help with that demand. Abortion has been or is likely about to be banned in every state touching Illinois. This Planned Parenthood Care Center in Waukegan, just eight miles from the Wisconsin border, opened in 2020 in preparation for an abortion ban up the road. More recently, Planned Parenthood of Wisconsin began certifying staff to work in Illinois to be able to help with their patients crossing the border for care. And they are crossing a lot. During this time, we've seen a 10 fold increase in patients from Wisconsin coming to care in Illinois. At the Waukegan facility, they've doubled the abortion caseloads compared to the same time last year. We are experiencing unusually high call volume. In the nearly three weeks since the Supreme Court ruling, call volume into Planned Parenthood of Wisconsin has doubled. Most of those calls and patients routed into Illinois. Before the end of the month, a similar partnership could be forged with Planned Parenthood of Indiana, as that state's legislature is likely to soon further restrict abortion care there too. We do anticipate that Planned Parenthood of Illinois will be an uh, increasing haven for care all over the Midwest. Trying to put some specific numbers on this. In 2020, which was the last year we have complete data, Illinois had 46,000 abortions. So if Planned Parenthood's forecasting is right and we see 30,000 more cases coming into Illinois from adjacent states, that is certainly going to put intense pressure on that sector. Live at the Thompson Center, Chris Dye, CBS 2 News. Joe. Chris, thank you very much. In a statement today, Illinois Right to Life calls our state's abortion law completely out of step with mainstream public opinion on abortion, saying they will continue to advocate for laws that protect women and their children.